this thing looks like it slinked right out of your worst nightmare. With 11 or 12 rows of needle-sharp teeth, it's no wonder this creature has been nicknamed the vampire fish. Though it looks like the worm from the movie Tremors, it's a fish called a lamprey. People fear this creature's slimy texture, its suction mouth, and most of all, its concentric circles of teeth. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to swim anywhere near that thing. But are these creepy creatures dangerous? What do they eat? And possibly more important, are they capable of killing you? Stick around, you won't want to miss these vampires of the deep. A lamprey may resemble an eel's color and shape, but that's where the similarities end. For one thing, it lacks paired fins and a jaw. Its skeleton is made of cartilage instead of bone, just like a stingray. It has seven gill openings on each side of its head and smooth, scaleless skin. And to make this creature even crazier, it's also a parasite. To feed, it attaches itself to other fish using its specialized suction mouth and teeth. Then it uses its file-like tongue to rasp through the fish's scales and feast on its blood and fluids. Boy, they weren't joking when they called this thing a vampire fish. Good night, kids. Sleep well. Okay, if lampreys are incredibly dangerous to fish, should we be scared of them too? Lampreys are so destructive that sometimes only one out of seven fish they attack will survive. And they're not picky eaters either, preying on all types of fish, ranging from trout to sturgeon. But despite the lamprey's maligned reputation, it is relatively harmless to humans. According to experiments performed by wilderness adventurers, it's not likely that a sea lamprey would attack a human unprovoked. Plus, there are no reports of deaths caused by lampreys, so even though they look scary, they won't kill you. But they have hurt some ecosystems. The first documented lamprey was found in Canada's Lake Ontario in 1835. By 1921, they had entered Lake Erie through the Welland Canal and lampreys were established in all five Great Lakes by 1938. They inflicted catastrophic damage to native lake trout and whitefish in Lake Superior, Michigan, and Huron. This happened because female lampreys can lay up to 100,000 eggs. The primary method of controlling the lamprey population is a lampricide called TFM. TFM kills lamprey larvae with little or no impact on other fish and wildlife. And that's not the only way to keep their population in check. In some places, lampreys are considered a delicacy. Many European countries capture lampreys and use them in a variety of dishes. Can I interest you in some lamprey pie? No, you cannot. Lampreys have remained largely unchanged for more than 340 million years, and they have survived at least four major extinction events. So no matter how much you loathe these parasitic creatures, they're going to survive. Oh yay. Sucking blood and having terrifying teeth is what lampreys do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.